In this video, I'll be solving question 4 onwards of May June 2019, paper 2, variant 1 of chemistry. Question number 4 The structure of compound Y is shown. Part A Give the systematic name for Y. So, giving names to uh, these structures is very easy when you have just one functional group present here. So, um, over here, the functional group for this structure is the double bond. And you have to give an give and you have to give such a name that functional group gets the least number of value of carbon. So uh, I will assign value one for this carbon. Otherwise, if I start numbering carbons from this side, then this carbon will have a number of three and this will have a number of two. As compared to if you start numbering from this side, this will have a number of one, this will have a number of two. So I can say uh, that the double bond is uh, bonded, uh, the double bond is between one and two rather than saying that the double bond is between two and three. Uh, I have to give least number to the uh, double bond present over here. That's why I'll start numbering carbons from the right side of the structure. So this is two. Uh, so this carbon will be then three. This is first a carbon, this is second carbon, this is third carbon, Car uh, double bond is between carbon 1 and 2, uh, chlorine is attached to the third carbon, so I'll write over here 3 chloro, because chlorine is attached to the third carbon, 3 chloro, and the next part of the naming will be how many carbon or atoms are present in the straight chain. In our straight chain, there are 1, 2, 3 carbon atoms, and for 3, there is prop. And then I'll mention one in why because the double bond is attached to the first carbon atom and the second carbon atom. So instead of writing prop two in, I'll give least number possible over here, which is one because double bond is bonded to two as well as the first carbon. So prop one in. Now part B, predict the values for the bond angles A and B shown in the diagram. The most appropriate angle between C to H would be 109.5. This carbon forms a bit of tetrahedral sh shape with the other um, atoms bonded to it like hydrogen, chlorine, this hydrogen and then this carbon. And then angle B would most likely be um, 120 degrees because this has three this has three atoms or this has three species bonding to it there is hydrogen there is this hydrogen and then there is this carbon so i think 120 would be uh, most suitable for angle b part c when y reacts with cold dilute acidified manganate seven ions compound seven is produced compound z is produced okay so part one state the molecular formula of z uh, there are how many carbon atoms one there is one over here there's one over here and then there is one over here so we have three carbon atoms i'll write c3 and then we have how many hydrogen atoms there is there are two over here there's one over here there's one over here there, there are two more over here and then there's one more over here so one three four five six seven so we have seven hydrogen atoms c3 at seven and then we have two oxygen atoms and then there is single chlorine atom. So we have C3H7O2Cl. Part 2, name the type of reaction occurring when Y is converted into Z. Okay, so Y was reacted with cold potassium magnate 7. This double bond opened up and formed two hydroxide and two hydroxides were attached. So there is a gain of oxygen. So I'll name this reaction oxidation. Because oxidation is loss of electrons or hydrogen but gain of oxygen. So oxidation. Part 3. Alcohols can be classified as primary, secondary or tertiary. Identify with the tick the alcohol groups present in Z. So a primary alcohol is one which has a carbon atom bonded to two hydrogen atoms. And the third one which is bonded uh, to it is the OH group. So over here I see that there is uh, a carbon atom over here. There are two hydrogen atoms over here and one OH bonded to it so i'll say there is a primary alcohol present in it and the secondary alcohol is uh, and the secondary alcohol is the one which has one carbon which has a carbon atom bonded to 
one hydrogen atom and one OH group. So over here I see with uh, there is one carbon atom over here which is bonded to one hydrogen atom only and one OH group. So I'll say that okay secondary alcohol is there too. Now tertiary alcohol is one which doesn't have any hydrogen atom bonded to it. It only has one OH group and uh, the rest of the three uh, the rest of the three uh, electrons are being uh, electrons of carbon are being shared with any uh, with other species or with other atoms not but not hydrogen so i don't see any tertiary uh, alcohol group over here there is this stick and then there is this stick so then over here okay Now moving on to part D, samples of organic compounds A, B, C and D are placed in unlabeled bottles. So A over here I see there is CO which means that's a ketone group. B is CHO that's an aldehyde group. Before you proceed I think it's better if you give them their names or at least classify them to what groups they belong. Okay this is an alcohol and this is an this is a carboxylic acid okay we are done naming them uh, part one identify all of the compounds a to d that contain a carbonyl group a carbonyl group is uh, a carbonyl group ha is one which has either a cho which means it's either an aldehyde or a ketone so a and b so i'll write a and b a and b now part two, A to D are reacted separately with the reagents given in the table. Complete the table to identify which of the compounds A to D reacts with the reagents given appropriate observation when a reaction occurs. So with Tollens reagent uh, from A to D, which one would react with Tollens reagent? A Tollens reagent is the reagent which will identify whether a sample has an aldehyde or not. So only an aldehyde will uh, react with Tollens reagent. So I'll write compounds identified is B, only B. And the observation will be the silver precipitate will form. Now alkaline solution of iodine, iodine will, uh, okay, iodine will react with ketone for sure and will react with alcohol so i'll write a and c and a yellow precipitate will form okay now uh, sodium metal sodium metal will react with alcohol and carboxylic acid for sure so I'll write C and D and when it reacts with the sodium when sodium metal reacts with alcohol this H will be replaced by an A will give hydrogen gas over here same goes to same goes with carboxylic acid this H will be replaced with an A this will become then a salt and then hydrogen gas will be given off so a colorless gas, yes, or you can write a uh, effervescence due to hydrogen gas found. Okay. Now moving on to question number five. Ethanol reacts with a mixture of HCN and NaCN to make two hydroxy propane nitrile. The reaction mechanism is nucleophilic addition. Explain the meaning of the term nucleophile. Identify the species which acts as the nucleophile during this reaction. So uh, a nucleophile is a species is a species which has a lone pair of electrons. Now in this question when ethanol reacts with HCN, HCN will undergo heterolytic fission which means uh, both the electrons which are being shared between H and C over here, both the electrons will be, uh, will be taken away uh, from uh, H by CN. So CN will have then, CN will then have a lone pair of electron and that will also have a negative charge and H will have a positive charge. So in our question, Cyanide ion or CN minus is the nucleophile. 
since it has taken away both the electrons from the bo bonding from H. So you you must mention this over here. Cn negative or cyanide ion is the nucleophile. Part B, C, uh, CH3, CHOH, Cn exists as a pair of stereoisomers. Part 1, name the type of stereoisomerism shown by, okay, so there are two types of stereoisomerism. There is one uh, optical stereoisomerism and there is this geometrical stereoisomerism. Geometrical, geometrical one usually exists uh, when uh, the structure has got double bonds, double bonds between carbon atoms and since this doesn't have that feature, so uh, this will form optical Stereoisomers because there is one chiral center, there is one carbon atom which which has its four electrons being shared with four different species or four different molecules. In this question, this C over here is sharing one electron with CH3, one with H, one with OH, and the last, the fourth electron is being shared with CN. So this will form a optical stereoisomerism. Now, this optical stereoisomerism. Now draw three dimensional diagrams of this pair of stereoisomers. Okay, so the structure for this will be there is one carbon atom in the middle and it is sharing its one electron with CH3. The second electron is being shared with H. The third one is being shared with OH and the fourth one is being shared with CN. So this is called optical isomerism when a single carbon atom is sharing its four electrons with four different species or four different molecules. You also have to uh, Give the mirror image for this structure. So C in the middle, CH3 over here, now the CN would look like this since this is a mirror image. And this is being shared with H. You also have to indicate the chiral center with the steric. So I'll draw an steric over here. This steric is for this carbon atom. Okay. Now part C gives the structure of the organic product of the reaction of CH3 CHO at CN with dilute sulfuric acid. So when you react CH3 CH, OH, CN with sulfuric acid. This would give you CH3, CH3, CH. This OH will remain the same, but this CH over here, over here, will turn into COOH. This will give you an organic acid so this is one of those few reactions which you have to learn that when you react cyanides with sulfuric acid with dilute sulfuric acid you get carboxylic acids